That's right. Governor Gavin Newsom today has banned the selling of tobacco flavor products in California. Now, today I was able to speak with a local tobacco shop and user about this new law. Issa Alanafi is one of the employees of Cigarette World off of Stockdale Highway in Allen Road. The local tobacco shop says they were told that the ban was a possibility, but believes that not all should be punished. To at least not to take it off the shop, like out of the businesses for good, for good, you know. They should at least have it available for the people that actually need it, the people that actually do smoke it. And for kids, just, I don't know, you've got to put some more laws on those. California Senate voted 34 to 0 on Friday, approving the bill and sending it to Governor Gavin Newsom to sign into law. The new law states it will be a crime to sell flavored tobacco products, which include vaping and hookah, but not to possess the items. The law will ban tobacco products that have flavors such as candy, desserts, chocolate, alcoholic, or menthol. Obviously, there's a lot of kids and teenagers who smoke a lot, and it is very enticing to them. Just when they see all these flavors, it seems pretty cool for them to smoke them. But at the same time, there is older people who are trying to quit cigarettes who could use them. So it's kind of like a tricky subject. Advocates of the bill say the goal is to prevent children from smoking these products. Even though by California law, you must be at least 21 years old to buy. Many experts say it's still too accessible for teens to get, while tobacco users believe there's still another alternative. I don't think it's a smart idea to ban everything at once. I do think he should roll it out, and I do think eventually flavored uh, flavored nicotine should be banned, but I don't think it should happen at once. And again, that new law will go into effect January 1st of next year. And the individuals I also spoke with today say they fear that tobacco users may find other ways to get those products. For now, in Bakersfield, Leslie Gooden, 23BC News, connecting you. Leslie, thanks. It's been